Now we have CJ Peterson here with sports. So CJ, did our men's basketball team finally end their losing streak? Yeah, they did. They lifted a big weight off their shoulders. The streak is finally over. The men's basketball team ended a 17-game losing streak on Tuesday. Update News reporter Gabriel Mungare has a look back at a recent loss against UNLV. The SJSU men's basketball team lost against UNLV 71-64 on February 16th at the event center. SJSU managed to get out to an early lead in the first half after constant post scoring from junior forward Michael Stedman. Michael Stedman played really solid tonight. The Spartans committed only nine total turnovers during the game and held a 31 to 28 lead at the half. My thing is I just wanted to attack and uh, make sure I didn't turn the ball over. Despite having the halftime lead, the Spartans missed key free throws down the stretch and were unable to hold off the Rebels. During the game, SJC sophomore guard Noah Bauman broke the Spartans' consecutive game record with making at least one May three-point shot. Teammates Bray, Mike, Ashton, they all found me, and uh, I just knew what I had to do. Um, I know recently, personally, I wasn't shooting as well in the last couple games, so I wanted to come out with uh, aggression. And the San Jose State men's basketball team will be playing again this Saturday as they head to San Diego to take on the San Diego State Aztecs. With having earned their first conference win this season, the team will look to make it two straight wins as they head to San Diego. On campus, Gabriel Mungre, Update News. Childhood obesity affects one in five U.S. children, and with the increasing rates, teaching kids to be active is one way to combat it. Nearly 11,000 kids and their families visited the Children's Discovery Museum last week. Some moved and danced to the beat to get some exercise in. During this time of the year, many children from neighboring San Jose schools are on winter break, so the museum hosted its 10th annual Kids Like to Move It this week. It's a popular week where we focus all of our attentions on helping children and families get more active and think about living an active lifestyle. Getting children to move is an ongoing effort at the Discovery Museum. Instructors say there, getting parents involved is a great way to keep kids interested in physical activity. And that's all I have for sports. You know, all that dancing looks fun, but I've been told I have two left feet. It does look pretty cool though. I have natural rhythm, so I think I can keep up with those kids. <laughs> and that does it for this week's edition of Update News. For all of us here, thanks for joining us, and see you next week.